Today we are going to look at lunar eclipses. A lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon and partially or totally blocks the light of the sun from falling onto the moon's surface. There are three types of lunar eclipses, total, partial and penumbra. Total lunar eclipse is when the moon is completely covered by the earth's umbra. Penumbral lunar eclipse occurs when the moon is covered by the earth's penumbral shadow only. Total penumbral eclipse is when the moon's trajectory only passes through the earth's penumbra and not the umbra. Partial is when only a part of the moon is covered by the earth's umbra. Horizontal eclipse is when both the sun and the eclipsed moon can be observed at the same time. This can only happen at sunset or sunrise and at certain elevation. The horizontal eclipse can only be observed on earth. A blood moon occurs during a lunar eclipse when the shorter wavelengths of the sun's light are scattered by the earth's atmosphere while the longer wavelengths are refracted onto the moon's surface, leading to the moon getting a blood red appearance. This is similar to the principle observed at sunset or sunrise. Given the information of the earth, sun, moon system and the assumption that these are in a straight line, we can calculate theta which is the angle of the umbra to the center line as given in the formula. This is just an application of some basic trigonometry. Here capital D is the sun's diameter and small d is the earth's diameter with capital L being the distance between the two of them. Once we have theta, we can calculate the umbra diameter du by the formula shown where small d is the earth's diameter and small l is the distance between the earth and the moon. For the penumbra, the penumbral lines cross in front of the earth. Therefore, we have to first determine where the intersection of the penumbral lines occur. With the help of geometrical principles, the formula for x, the distance of the intersection to earth, can be found as shown, where capital D is the sun's diameter, small d is the earth's diameter, with capital L being the distance between the sun and the earth. Once x is available, the penumbral diameter dp is a simple application of the geometry of the situation, where L is the distance between the earth and the moon. Given the system data as shown, we can apply the same to various equations and get the following results. Naturally, since the observer is on the moon's surface nearest to the earth, I am subtracting the moon's radius from the distance. However, since a lunar eclipse takes hours, this is only an approximation. A lunar eclipse lasts for hours while a solar eclipse lasts for minutes. This is because the occulting body in the case of a lunar eclipse being Earth, which is almost four times the diameter of the Moon. This clip is that of a total lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on Moon tracking the Earth. This clip is that of a total lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on moon tracking the sun.
This clip is that of a total lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on moon looking at the moon's surface. This clip is that of a total lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on Earth tracking the moon. This clip is from the perspective of an observer on Earth looking at the Sun and the Moon at the same time. This clip is that of a horizontal eclipse with the atmosphere disabled. This clip is that of a horizontal eclipse with the atmosphere enabled. This clip is that of a horizontal eclipse with the atmosphere enabled and the view zoomed in. This clip is that of a horizontal eclipse with the atmosphere enabled and tracking sunrise and sunset happening side by side.
This clip is that of a total lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on Sun tracking the Earth. This clip is that of a total penumbral lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on the left edge of the moon tracking the earth. This clip is that of a total penumbral lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on the right edge of the moon tracking the earth. This clip is that of a total penumbral lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on Earth tracking the moon. This clip is that of a total penumbral lunar eclipse from the perspective of an observer on Sun tracking the Earth. <laughs> 